remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by the members of the Key Elements Group. Miss Alyssa McGrail. Student, but as a person. 
I want to live recklessly, radically loving, investing in the people around me, and making a difference, whether it's big or small. I want to genuinely get to know people without staring at my phone screen. When I'm talking to someone, I want to care about them so much that I'm willing to engage and look at their eyes when I'm talking to them. There's this quote by one of my favorite authors, Elizabeth Elliot. She says, I have one desire now, to live a life, a full life of reckless abandon for the Lord, putting all my energy and strength into it. And this is my desire, to live for something that's way bigger than myself, and by trying to do so, make people realize that they have a purpose. If you haven't caught anything that I've said so far, please listen to this. Always take the time to invest in others. Engage, be present, because your story and your life matters. It has the potential to shape a person into something that they wouldn't be without you. My class and I are so thankful for all of your sacrifice, encouragement, and love over the course of our high school careers. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce the superintendent of the Aldred Central School District, Dr. Robert M. DeFore, as he will give his superintendent's address. Dr. DeFore. Good morning. Parents, guardians, friends, distinguished guests, members of the Board of Education, ladies and gentlemen, and most importantly, our graduates. Good morning. If you had drove by the school at 7.45 this morning, you would have seen me sitting in a lone metal chair in the middle of the yard with a cup of coffee in my suit, surrounded by 10 custodians, with a phone in our hand, staring wearily at the sky above. At that time, I told them to start setting up. We're doing it outside. After setting up six rows of chairs, I looked out my window, and the sky had opened. So I went out in the rain, and I said, pack it up and bring it in. And then guess what happened? <laughs> Sorry. But if it's any consolation, I weigh about 200 pounds. The lone metal chair I was sitting in had sunk an inch into the yard, so it may not have been too much fun. So please bear with us, and again, I wish to thank our custodians for putting up with my nonsense at that time in the morning and doing a yeoman's job to get the auditorium prepared for graduation. We have all heard the expression that if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Nothing in life is easy. Nothing will be handed to you on a silver platter, except maybe dinner. You'll need to work for everything you want. Often, you will find yourself working for things you may not want, but that you actually need. Persistence pays off. <coughs> According to Google, persistence means to be firm, or the obstinate continuance in a course of action in spite of difficulty or opposition. Each and every one of our graduates has demonstrated that they are persistent in their academics, sports, music, theater, and other extracurricular activities. They have shown that hard work and dedication, setting goals, attaining those goals, is both necessary and possible. The skills you have learned and used to get you to this stage will serve you well in life. These skills will make you successful at all you do because you worked for it and you earned it. The harder you work, the more that it will mean to you. Look where 12 years of hard work has gotten you, here on this stage, in front of your families, friends, and teachers. This is but one of many major achievements of your life to date. There will be many more, as long as you set your mind to it. Work at it and achieve it. Graduating from college, entering the workforce, enlisting in the military, or starting a family. These are all milestones in your life that you will work and strive for. Earl Bacon said, by all reckoning, the bumblebee 
is aerodynamically unsound and shouldn't be able to fly. Yet the little bee gets those wings going like a turbojet and flies to every plant its chubby little body can land on to collect all the nectar it can hold. Bumblebees are the most persistent creatures. They don't know they can't fly, so they just keep buzzing around. Like the lowly bumblebees on a graduates, never give in to pessimism. Don't know that you can't fly and you will soar like an eagle. You are that bumblebee. You are that eagle. So go out there, spread your wings, and soar among the mountains and clouds and lead a hugely prosperous and successful life. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. DeVora. Now it's my pleasure that I have the opportunity to introduce our guest speaker for today's graduation ceremony, Mr. Charles Cook. Mr. Cook graduated from Eldred in 1980. He was a three-sport athlete and went on to Brigham Young University and then to Arizona State University receiving a law degree in 1989. Mr. Cook is the founding and managing partner of Cook Immigration Partners in Atlanta, Georgia. He has also served as the national president of the American Immigration Lawyers Association. He is currently the co-chair of the City of Atlanta's Welcoming America Commission and board member of the Georgia Restaurant Association. He has appeared on numerous television broadcasts, including CBS, NBC, Fox, CNN, MSNBC, as well as newspapers such as the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal. Ladies and gentlemen, our keynote speaker, Mr. Charles Cook. to watch the best girls soccer team in the history of Eldridge play. 
uh, and we were on our way to Narrowsburg to watch them play that day to support the seniors in our class. Uh, and one of my dear friends was driving his delightfully beautiful Mustang. Uh, thank you, Jim. Uh, and uh, I don't know what happened, but uh, Jim ended up on the side of the road in a very large ditch. So my failure was I was going to help him. Except I didn't see the large ditch either. And that was a long conversation that night with my father about the car I was driving. We all know failure. We all know things that we really wanted to do well, but we just didn't do well. And we carry those with us. The opposite side of that is success. You've all had such remarkable success here at Elgin. I can see by many of the scholarships that you've won, the schools that you're admitted to, you have had success. And you've had that not because of just the things that you have done, but you've had it because of the things that your parents, your siblings, your guardians, and your friends have done for you. The success that I enjoyed here at Eldred was not because I was special in any way. It was because I had a remarkable supporting cast. The teachers that taught me are now long retired here at Eldred, but their memory lives on. And remarkably, we have contact with these teachers. Mr. Melia, Mr. Donnelly, Mr. Cruz, Mrs. Campbell, Mrs. Beck, Mrs. Bomber. These are people that shaped who I am. Your teachers shaped who you are. They taught you those things, those everyday things, that will make you better. They did it not only through the way they graded your tests, or the way they reviewed your papers, but how they interacted with you every single day, and how they helped you succeed each day in those little moments when maybe you thought you just weren't good enough. The next point I want to talk about also has two sides, and it's one that I, I believe helped dedicate my life to, and something I learned here at Elder, and that is justice. You know, all of us want justice in life. We want justice for ourselves. We want to live in a land where everybody is treated equally, and we are all free to do the things that can make ourselves better people. But justice is a principle that goes beyond simply wanting to be treated equally, or simply wanting to, uh, to have fairness. The reality is justice is only as good as the justice we give to others. We have opportunities every day to help other people rise above their circumstances. Here in Eldred, nobody lives in giant mansions. This is not a town full of very wealthy people. You will go to school with people like that in university, in graduate school, but you don't live in a place like that. I believe coming from Eldred taught me a sense of justice because it taught me to understand that we all come from very humble circumstances. None of us is necessarily given a leg up that makes us any better than anybody else. But it also taught me that I have an obligation to my fellow man to make sure that they themselves, like me, have the opportunity to experience justice. We have an obligation to speak out when we see injustice, when it affects not just ourselves but others. We have to be on the line. We have to be putting our voice out there and raising the flag and saying, this is not fair. And you need to do something about that. Whatever career you pick, whether it's law like myself, or you become a doctor, as some of my classmates did, or become teachers, or police officers, or firemen, or moms and dads. You have an obligation to speak out for justice every single day. I would encourage you to do that, to take what you learned here about justice. And one last comment about justice. I was in a place this morning I thought that I would never be, and that was the principal's office. I was hoping never to be back at that point last year in 1980. And it brought back some very interesting memories, but it brought back to me a memory of justice. Because in there is where I experienced justice for the very first time. Not in a harsh way, but in a kind, accepting way. And the last part of what I want to talk about is the opposite side of justice, but it's, it's its companion, not its opposite. And that's mercy. Every day we have an opportunity to exercise mercy on behalf of others. We have an opportunity to help those who are less fortunate in our lives. Every, virtually everybody here is going to college or the military or working. That means you have been given an opportunity which many other people have not had. Mercy is a powerful tool that we have to use every single day to reach our hand down and across the aisle and across the water to ensure that other people experience justice and to experience, <coughs> ensure that other people have the same opportunities, if not equal, the same. Mercy, every day when you have a chance to exercise it, is something you will never lose. You never shortchange yourself. You never become less of a person 
because you have exercised mercy on behalf of somebody else. So justice is important, but mercy is equally important. Take these lessons, success and failure, justice and mercy, that you learned here at Eldred Central School, and put them forward in your life and know there is literally nothing not within your grasp. If you can dream it, you can become, because you started here, the greatest of all schools. Congratulations, class of 19, uh, 2017. Thank you, Mr. Cook. I would like to call on our valedictorian to make her valedictory address. Ladies and gentlemen, our valedictorian, Ms. Samantha LaFoot.
appropriated after years of blood, sweat, and carrots. <laughs> but with the spirit of fun comes the spirit of mischief. It began a day like any other. The boys were talking among themselves. But discussions turned south. Tensions rose. War broke out. The cafeteria was serving carrots. When one particular teacher saw a group of teenagers throwing carrots at one another, he was not amused. The next day, they placed a bag. The boys retaliated the only way they could. The next day, they placed a bag of baby carrots on the teacher's car. <laughs> now let me be very clear. This is not the justice that Mr. Cook was talking about. <laughs> we didn't learn it at the time, so this was just stone cold revenge. <laughs> Still, we learned our lesson. Don't play with your food. <laughs> Senior year. This is it. We made it. It was difficult. Senioritis was a very real and prevalent threat in our class. I watched one by one as my friends and I dropped like flies, succumbing to the disease. <coughs> Yet, we persevered. We followed the words of a great cinematic figure, and we just kept swimming. Standing before you are the survivors, <laughs> the swimmers, a graduate class of 32 strong. Between crippling senioritis and planning, for, and planning for our futures, we still managed to leave behind a legacy. And now a legacy isn't any everything, but it's still something I worry about constantly. To see our legacy, <coughs> you need not look further than Mr. Glance. This year, one of the things the boys made it their mission to do was to fight the good fight against communism. And Mr. Glantz's government class. And anyone who knows Mr. Glantz knows that he is a man who has a story for every occasion. This year, in our government class, Mr. Glantz was reborn. Like a phoenix, he rose from his ashes as Daddy G. A symbol of peace and goodwill. And if we are not remembered as the brightest class as elders have seen to date, then we have to be the best looking. <laughs> now let's say, against all odds, we are not remembered as that either. We still hold the class of being, we still hold the honor of being the smallest class Mrs. Gallo has ever seen. But what we lack in size, we make up in character. Our class is a class of athletes, artists, scholars, and workers. This year, we were the upperclassmen that walked like gods among the freshmen. <laughs> and as graduates, we can finally friend our teachers on Facebook. <laughs> yes, I'm looking at you, Mr. Price. <laughs> and as graduates, we face the unknown. You see, this time, we are not jumping from one fishbowl to the next. No. This time, we are being dumped into the middle of the ocean. And it is hard to just keep swimming when you don't know which direction to go. We've created plans for the future with no idea what the future may hold. And right now, we are no longer children. But we aren't quite adults either. We are facing a world of throwing carrots and throwing rocks just won't cut it anymore. And I don't know about everyone else, but I am terrified. My parents encouraged me to question the world around me, but sometimes I've learned that can backfire. Did I choose the right path? Did I choose the right college? Did I choose the right major? Will I succeed? Will my friendship survive this? Will I be able to fall asleep without my dog a foot in my bed? There are no questions, there is no question that things will change. But will things change for the better? Looking around, I hope they will. I know that if I grow weary, my sisters, my sister and my brothers will 
will be there to support me. And if I get lost, my parents will be there to guide me. And when I'm hurt, my friends will be there to comfort me. Our community is a community that continues to amaze me. And as I stand before you today, I look for the future. In the future, I can't help but wonder what stories I'll tell my kids about this town, about this school, about today. I think to start off, I'll tell them that I grew up in Sullivan County by the Delaware River, to which they'll probably respond, Delaware? <laughs> and I'll say, do you remember that scene in Marvel's Doctor Strange where Benedict Cumberbatch drives off a cliff? Yeah, that was the hot test. That was our road. I grew up in a small town where hitting a deer was considered a rite of passage, and flags flew proudly from the back of pickup trucks. Our mascot was the yellow jacket, far more noble and far more fearsome than any honeybee or any other um, this yellow jacket is a fierce but underrated aspect. My class was a class that taught one another, and I have learned so much from them. For example, I learned that a ricer is a car with unnecessary modifications to make it look like it's fast. <laughs> and if you're wondering what a ricer looks like, you need no, look no further than Christian Baby Scott. <laughs> <laughs> and on graduation day, my class looked just as fierce as the fearsome yellow jets. They had their game faces on, and they were ready to face the future. Now, it's okay to fall along whatever road you take, be it college, the workforce, the military, or others. But if you're going to fall, fall back on your community. I will miss you guys, and I'm going to miss this school. Now before I sit down, I would like to take a moment to thank everyone who supported me in this class over the past six years. Thank you teachers, administrators, guidance counselors, and janitors for making this graduation possible. Thank you. Dr. DeFore for calling the hot, hard shot this morning, even though it was very questionable whether or not we would be at I would like to thank my classmates for providing me with plenty of material to work with for the speech. <laughs> I'd especially like to thank Kat Nicholson for feeding me some of the best lines in the speech, Ella Sherwood for Harry Potter marathons and alien conspiracies, and Fancy McDonald's who has always been there to share an inside joke in the world. I'd like to thank my brothers for tearing apart my speech and making it better. I'd like to thank my sister for always being there for me, even on the days we fought tooth and nail. And to this day, I think that one of the best things about this place is her. I'd like to thank my parents who somehow managed to keep me alive until this point. And I know I haven't always made it easy. And finally, I would like to thank each and every one of you for celebrating our graduation here today. Thank you. At this point in the ceremony, we're going to present to our graduates their awards and scholarships. So if Mrs. Gallo would please come up and join me. I would also like to invite up Mr. Peter Barnes from the American Legion Post 1363 to present the first award. And the first award goes to, it's an American Legion Post 1363 Annual School Award in the amount of $1,000 to Gemma McAfee.
the American Legion Post 1363 Healthcare Award, $200 each. Garrett Kolbebach. <laughs> Audrey Milan. Francine McDonald. <laughs> and Lindsay Kelty. Thank you, Mr. Barnes. Now I would like to ask Ms. Jen Barnes to come forward. This is the American Legion Auxiliary Unit 1363 Doris Vandeveld Citizenship Award in the amount of $500 to Garrett Kolkenbach. Thank you, Ms. Barnes. Thank you. Pat Friedrich, please come forward. The Chrissy Bertolino Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 goes to Casey Weiss. Thank you, Ms. Friedrich. Congratulations to the seniors who are receiving the following certificates here today. The New York State Senator John J. Bonasek, 42nd Senate Certificate of Achievement. The New York State Assemblyman Carl A. Robinek, 98th District Certificate of Merit. And the New York State Assemblywoman Eileen M. Gunther, Certificate of Merit. They go to Christopher Sarna. Peyton Williams. Christian Benke. Destiny Arnold. <laughs> Jacob McKean. <laughs> Brandon Walton. Lowell Tommy Hulse. <laughs> Alexandra Rumsey. <laughs> Austin Gervasi Ledger. Congratulations to the following students who received the previously mentioned certificates of merit, as well as the following awards, certificates, and scholarships. Hex Market Achievement Award in the amount of $200. PTSO Scholarship, $100.
New York State School of Music Association, NISMA, gold medal for band performance. NISMA, medal for choral performance, goes to Jessica Davis. Academic Excellence Scholarship, New York State Department of Ed, $1,500. Lumberland Fire Department, Marv Hawker Service Award, $100. Eldred Central School Faculty Association, Sal Salatorian Award, $350. Allen Slowey Citizenship and Service Award, I'll go to Alyssa McGrail. Andrew Parker Scholarship in the amount of 250 to Anthony Gonzalez. The Triple C Award to Brenna Birkenstock. Merit Scholarship, Raymond Brian Klaus Scholarship in the amount of $500, NISMA Gold Medal for Band Performance to Noah Carreri. <laughs> the Knights of Columbus Scholarship, $500, American Legion Doris Vandervelt Citizenship Award, $500. Camp Hurt Steel Scholarship, $250. Fred and Francis Ilo Scholarship, $750. Ms. Accordia University Academic Merit Scholarship in the amount of $60,000. Ms. Accordia Dean's Award, $8,000. Nyskova, New York State Corrections Officer Police, Police Benevolent Association Scholarship, $600. Macaulay Scholarship, $12,000. The American Legion Healthcare Award in the amount of $200. Lumberland Lions Club, $600. NISMA Gold Medal for Band Performance. And that all goes to Garrett Folkebach. Central School Faculty Association Visual Arts Scholarship in the amount of $125. Hex Market Achievement Award, $200. Eldred High School Visual Arts Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to Kat, sorry, Catherine Nicholson. Ukrainian National Women's League of America Branch 62 Scholarship Award in the amount of $250 to Maria Shablowski. <laughs> Delta Kappa Gamma. Tau Chapter Memorial Grants in Aid Scholarship in the amount of $300. Can't Hurt Steel Scholarship for $250. Eldred Central School Faculty Association Greatest Effort Award in the amount of $200. Professional Women of Sullivan County May Nishman Award, $500. The Bob Rosen Memorial Scholarship through the United Way of Sullivan County, $1,000. Stanley Nomowitz Memorial Scholarship, $500. Junior Year of College. Lumberland Lions Club Scholarship, $500. Goes to Jordan Lepus. <laughs> A 
Academic Excellence Scholarship, New York State Department of Ed, $1,500. Knights of Columbus Scholarship, $500. Lumberland Lions Club Scholarship, $300. The American Legion Healthcare Award, $200. Federation of Sportsmen Club Scholarship, $1,000. Greater Berryville Chamber of Commerce Scholarship, $500. Can't Hurt Steel Scholarship, $250. Pace University Incentive and Soccer Award, $32,000 a year for four years. PTSO Scholarship, $100. Career in Tech, Barbara Hollenbeck, Professionalism Award. National Technical Honor Society, President's Academic Excellence Award. Career in Tech, Syracuse University Award of Recognition, Lindsay Kelty. <laughs> Academic Excellence Scholarship, New York State Department of Ed, $1,500. Eldred Central School Faculty Association Math and Science Award, $125. Can't Hurt Steel Scholarship, $250. Rensselaer Leadership Award, Pex Market Achievement Award, $200. Lumberland Lions Club Scholarship, $600. Eldred Central School Faculty Association Valedictorian Scholarship, $500. Port Jervis Rotary Club Service Above Self Scholarship, $500. Lumberland Fire Department Marv Hawker Community Service Award, $100. All go to Samantha LaFoot. Lumberland Fire Department, Mark Hawker, Community Service Award in the amount of $100 to Carla Mohan. <laughs> Career in Tech, Syracuse University Award of Recognition to Molly Clarkin. Market Achievement Scholarship in the amount of $200 to Jennifer Reyes. <laughs> the Lumberland Fire Department, Mark Hawker Community Service Award in the amount of $100. Eldred Central School Faculty Association Humanities Award in the amount of $125. The Chrissy Bertolino Memorial Scholarship, $500. Eldred Central School Ken Bjorn Scholarship, $200. Eldred Central School Faculty Association Greatest Effort Award, $200. And the CSEA Scholarship, $250, goes to Casey Weiss. Brockport Academic Scholarship, $10,000 a year. Nisma Gold Medal for Band Performance to Amanda Marjoram. <laughs> Raymond Brian Klaus Scholarship in the amount of $500. DeSalle's University Presidential Scholarship Award, $17,000 a year. NISMA Gold Medal for Band Performance, Anthony Strasser. <laughs> Belmont Abbey Academic Scholarship, 
$8,000, Eric Binkowski. Andrew Parker Scholarship in the amount of $250 to Bailey LaFoot. <laughs> Pax Market Achievement Scholarship, $200, Jasmine Lane. American Legion Health Care Award in the amount of $200, Francine McDonald. <laughs> Fred and Francis Ilo Scholarship, $750. Lumberland Lions Club Scholarship, $400. American Legion School Award, $1,000. SUNY Oswego Annual Scholarship. Tri-State Youth Soccer Club Scholarship, $1,000. Port Jervis Elks Penny Lewis Memorial Scholarship, $1,000. Sullivan County Trail Association Scholarship, $500. To Jenna McAfee. Professional Women of Sullivan County, May Nishman Award, $500. Eldred High School Visual Arts Scholarship, $500. Lumberland Lions Club Scholarship, $500. Knights of Columbus Scholarship, $500. Town of Highland Lions Club Scholarship, $500. Lumberland Fire Department, Mara Parker, Community Service Award, $100. To Helen Sherwood. Greater Berryville Chamber of Commerce Scholarship, $1,250. NISMA Gold Medal for Band Performance, Thomas Max Smith. <laughs> CSEA Scholarship, $250. And the Triple C Award go to Anna Petrowski. Lumberland Lions Club Scholarship, $500. Sheila Burkett, Gift of Life Scholarship, $500. Alan Gary, Academic Scholarship, $20,000 a year. Syracuse University Scholarship, $26,300 a year. Eldred Central School Faculty Association Financial Need Award, $250. Lumberland Fire Department, Marv Hawker Community Service Award, $100. American Legion Healthcare Award, $200. NISMA Medal for Choral Performance, NISMA Met Gold Medal for Band Performance, Career in Tech, Szymanski Scholarship, National Tech Honor Society, President's Academic Excellence Award, Career in Tech Syracuse University Award of Recognition to Audrey Milan. <laughs> Eldred Central School Faculty Association Performing Arts Award, $125. Greater Berryville Chamber of Commerce Scholarship, $750. NISMA Gold Medal for Band Performance, NISMA Medal for Choral Performance.
Braylon Kolgebach. Congratulations to all our students on the awards and scholarships received. This is finally the time in our program where students will receive their diplomas, and each year we honor a teacher who has helped shape many of these students over the past few years. This year, Mrs. Mary Kate Oset will be our faculty member who will read the names of our graduates as they receive their diplomas. Mrs. Oset, would you please come to the Mr. Doug Reiser, our Board of Education President, will present the diplomas to the students. Mr. Reiser. Graduates, as your name is called, please come up to receive your diploma. Casey Lauren Weiss. Mr. Amador Kut, our Vice President of the Board, will present the diplomas to his daughters. <laughs> Bailey Laput. Samantha Turner LaPut. <laughs> Lindsay Ann Kelty. Noah Christopher Carreri. <laughs> Anthony John Strasser. Garrett Holdenbach. <laughs> Lowell Thomas Pulse, Jr. Amanda Ann Bartram.
Jessica Gail Davis. Jacob Henry McKean. Gonzalez. Carla Dagmeyer Mohan. <laughs> Gemma Kate McAfee. Jordan Diana Lepis. <laughs> Jennifer Ann Reyes. Christian Adam Benke.
Bray Lynn Eliza Holdenbach. Molly Ann Clarkin. Alyssa Caitlin McGrail. I thank you all for your attendance at the 2017 graduation ceremony. Mrs. Osek, Mrs. Sutherland, Ms. Gallo for their time and effort for the class of 2017. And a special thank you to Casey Weiss for our wonderful program cover. Thank you also to the superintendent and the Board of Education for their support of the educational activities of our graduates and all the dedicated hard work of our faculty and staff for assisting each and every one of these students in their endeavors here at Eldred. And lastly, parents, families, and guests for all of your encouragement over the years, which you can see have paid off. Graduates, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, I Kimberly Guerin, Guidance Counselor at the Eldred Central School District, Town of Highland, County of Sullivan, State of New York, do hereby certify to our Superintendent, Dr. Robert Dufour, and President of the Board of Education, Mr. Douglas Reiser, that these students before you have completed all the requirements for the Regents Diploma or the Local Diploma as established by Education Law in the State of New York. Graduates, you can now move your tassels. Ladies and gentlemen, 